Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. I'm Chris with the K. There's a link in the, web in the description to my website. Uh, and today we're going to be looking at uh, spreadsheets in the shell. Uh, also, uh, something I don't normally do, but I've got a uh, screen uh, display on here so you can see what keys I'm pressing on the keyboard. Uh, that being said, uh, we're going to jump in here. I recently did a few videos on different types of spreadsheets in the shell and CSV files and whatnot. And I left out a great application that I haven't used in a couple of years because I don't work with spreadsheets much. Spreadsheets much. <laughs> but um, there's a program called um, SC. And then there's an improved version of that called uh, SC-IM. And both should be in repositories now for, I think, most distributions. Uh, but this is... Uh, a, a great little application for working with spreadsheets. I've talked about VisiData, which VisiData is like just, just mega great. It does so many different things. But if you just need regular spreadsheets, this is also a great application. I think it's a little bit simpler in some ways. And in one of my videos, someone asked about VisiData doing formulas, which I'm sure it can, but I don't know how. Uh, but I do know how to do basic mathematical formulas in um, this program. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run... I can give it a file name, but I'm just going to run the application. So sc-im after installing it again, sudo apt install sc-im. Uh, some people I've heard them call the skim. So I guess I might say that it might be easier to say brings you here. And it's, it's very much like Vim for spreadsheets, right? Uh, and that's why I want to have the key capture on here. So I'm going to hit enter. Now I can move around with my arrow keys or you can use uh, H, J, K and L. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to insert some text here. There's a few different ways there, whether you want it centered, to the left or right, justified. I'm just gonna do backslash, I'm gonna type in item one, okay? Good enter, and that centers the text in there. I'm gonna do another one, I'm gonna go item two, item three, and item four, okay? So we have these different items over here. Let's go ahead and do some numbers. So we're gonna say equals to make it a, a number. In this case, it's going to be a float, so it's gonna have a decimal point. We're gonna say 10. And let's say five for this one equals four and equals one. And then down here, I'm gonna say equals at symbol sum. And then in parentheses, I'm gonna say B0 through B3. And that will give us the sum of all of these cells. And I can come in here and I can change one of these. So I can hit lowercase e since this is a number and then i to insert mode. And I'll make that a three. And you'll see that this updates. See, it's red. So we know it's a formula and it will update as I change these numbers. You can do things like averages and you know all those basic formulas you would do with a spreadsheet application. Save, I'm gonna hit colon W space and give it a name. I'll just call it sheet. And if I just give it a name without an extension, it's gonna save it as an SC file. So that is a file for this particular application. You won't really be able to open it in other applications. I'm going to hit colon Q and enter to quit. And now we list out in this directory, we have that file we just created. If I open it up in Vim, you can see it's just a text application or text file, but it's not uh, like a comma separated value where it's just plain text. This is actually instructions basically for this program to recreate the sheets, right? And it even says here, you, you almost certainly should not edit it, right? Uh, which just makes me want to, and you could, you know, but one little thing you change might break the whole spreadsheet. Uh, but you can see what each cell is equals here. Uh, you can see that there are strings and there are integers. And then down here, it says go to B1, which is the starting cell. So it remembers the last cell you were in, or at least the cell you were in when you saved it. And so the question is, before we're talking about CSV files. So let me quit out of this and let me open this file back up. Oh, I, I got to give it the file name. I could probably open it right in here, but normally I would say this and I would say skim and the file name. And then in here, uh, I can now hit the colon W and give it a name. I'll call it sheet.scv for comma separated values, right? So now that we have that, uh, I can quit out of this. And if we were to look at the files in this directory, we have the two files. And if I was opening up the CSV file, you can see it's a CSV file. It's just got 
rows of text separated by commas, right? And it's got the 19 down there. Now that is an issue though, because it has the 19 as a number there. What, why do I say that's an issue? If we were to go back in here and open up the CSV file, it looks normal, but you notice the 19 is not read anymore because it's no longer a formula because it's a CSV file and CSV files don't have formulas. So if I was to come in here and I was to edit this number to be two, I can change that, but you notice the 19 didn't update. So it's no longer a formula, it's a static number. So you can, and that's just because I converted it to a CSV file. If it was still an SC file, which I still have, it will still recognize it as a formula. That's the difference between the formats. Saving as a CSV file now makes it so you can open it up in other applications. In fact, let's do that. Let's go LibreOffice and open up our sheet.csv. I'm gonna do that here and it's asking me why I want to use my delimiter. I can open it up. Now it's still a static number now, but I can delete that and I can say, oop, not average. I don't want the average. I can say here, uh, I, I messed that up completely, didn't I? There we go. Uh, I can say sum and Sorry, I say I don't use spreadsheets often. So now we're getting the sum of all these, right? So if I can come in here and I can change this number to a three, and when I move out of that, that changes to 19. If I move this to a three, when I move out of there, it moves to 17. And I can then save this, save as. I don't want to save it as a CSV file because again, it will go back to being a static value because CSV files don't have formulas. I'm going to save it as a open document spreadsheet, save. Now the question is, we now have three different file formats here. We have the CSV file, which if I was to cat out, uh, is again, just plain text. If I was to cat out the SC file, it's plain text, but it's instructions for that specific program and will not work in pretty much any other program. And if I was to cat out our sheet ODS, it's it's a binary file. It's It's probably compressed in different ways. And so I can't just edit it with a text editor, right? Without converting it to something else, which there are ways to do that. But does skim open up OSD files or ODS files? Yes, and I'm sure it does Excel. I think it does most basic uh, spreadsheet formats that we know of. So we do that, look, it's there. And you can see this is red. It's a formula. I can come in here and I can change this to a four and you can see the number changes. Thing is though, if I go, uh, colon W and hit enter, it's going to tell me it can't save that. So it can't, does not support it yet. Not, not supported. Yeah. Yet. Yet. Not yet supported. That's what I'm trying to say. So it can open ODS files, but it can't save to them. That's not a problem. Cause at this point I can save it. I'll save it as sheet 01 dot SC. And now I've saved it in this format, uh, for this skim application, uh, which it can open and it saves this as a formula. But once again, now this file really can't be opened by anything else. So that CSV file is great because you can save to that and open it up in other applications, but you're gonna lose your formulas. Just things to think about. Now I'm not super duper familiar with this, uh, with this program. So there might be a file format that it supports that it can save to and LibreOffice and other spreadsheet applications uh, can open. In fact, I, I do wanna check one more thing. I did not check before the video, but I am pretty sure uh, if I open up dot OSD, and if I was to say save as and choose Excel file, well, this is an older Excel file. Well, let's go for the newer Excel files. So XLSX, we'll save that. Let's see if it will open up that file. It does. Oh, but it lost the formula. Oh. Did I lose the formula before I saved it? Let's see. So let's open this up again. Okay, it was a formula. So saving to that Excel, that Excel format uh, seems to lose the formula as well. I'm assuming that it's actually probably using some other application in the background to convert it to a CSV file. So ODS files are great because they're from their open document spreadsheets. Uh, so, and even these days, uh, 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 Microsoft Office opens them, you know, back in the day it didn't. Um, so it's a very compatible and full featured format is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So anyway, uh, skim is a great application for working with spreadsheets. I don't do a lot of stuff with spreadsheets. Um, 
and and I fumble around just being in Sheets in LibreOffice. Uh, but if I need to, this is a great application that I have forgotten about, even though I used it a few times a couple of years ago. And again, there's also another application called SC, or, which is like, just like there's Vi and then Vim, and Vim is Vi improved. I don't know how the creators of SC feel about it being improved, but I feel like, uh, if I remember correctly, Skim supports more file formats. Like, I don't think SC supports Excel formats. I could be wrong on that. Anyway, check them both out. Why don't you? Why don't you? Thanks for watching. Filmsbychris.com. I hope this uh, answers that one person's question about working with formulas in the shell without going into a graphical application. Um, and, you know, there's probably some people watching this video going, why would I not just use a graphical application like LibreOffice or Microsoft Office or Google Office or whatever? Well, one, because it's kind of overkill for spreadsheets unless you're putting photos and stuff in there. Uh, I said this to someone once, spreadsheets are just text files. <laughs> and... and, and they are. I mean, spreadsheets have been around since before computers. People wrote spreadsheets out on pieces of paper. Um, but also, it's very helpful to be able to edit stuff like this if you're logged into a server remotely. Uh, you just log in and you don't have to start up and try to pipe a graphical application through uh, the internet, which a lot of people do, and it's horrible to me to watch. Ah! But uh, I do thank you for watching this, and I hope that you have a great day.